Hello everybody, this is Luckless Lovelocks bringing you Bioshock Infinite. Um, just to give you some history, I've played the first game quite a bit. I didn't completely finish it, but I played it when it first came out uh, on the Xbox 360. Second game I've never played. Um, after playing Soma, I really was interested in playing more sci-fi games, and that's what I'm going to be doing in October. So all sci-fi games, Bioshock Infinite, Mass Effect 3, Techno Babylon, and uh, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, amongst other things if I have the time. Sounds, sounds good? Okay, good. Um, this game really interests me, um, especially it being kind of an opposite style to Soma, which is very dark, underwater, actually a lot like Bioshock. This one's very like light, airy, and it's kind of like takes place in what looks like an American Revolution kind of times, which is not... Um, it's not really a setting that's, that's um, explored very much in games. Uh, the one that kind of... The one game that this kind of reminds me of, which came after it, was uh, Dishonored, which had a, kind of a similar uh, bright style, but maybe a bit a bit darker than this. Danktober. Uh, anyways, without further ado, let's get going. I'm anxious to play this game. Um, it's been on my list for a while. I'm gonna go... I started up uh, a game before just to test some things out. So I'm gonna restart. And I'm gonna go hard. I'm gonna go hard, boys. Boys and girls. You guys ready? Bioshock Infinite, here we come! Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. It's foreboding. The mind of the subject will create desperately, or will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Bears transdimensional travel. Arlutis, 1889. Hmm. 1912, coast of Maine. Okay, it's it's after Record Revolution times. There? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder the burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much so longer? We're, we're Booker. One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. One does Booker, not do it. Okay. An Booker, do it. Knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the Scroll rowing? Scroll key you know. sword. Never okay. No, I oh, I guess they're pictures. Appreciated if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row. No, he doesn't row. Huh. I see what you mean. Hey, Fashion Batman, what's up? We've arrived. I, yeah, I've never played this before, so I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it, Fashion Batman. I was going to manipulate the camera. Um, so... He's not moving! He <laughs> will, eventually. As he, as he does. Seems like that's a couple of Brits and I'm an American. So it's Shall 1912, so it's like... Returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Guess I misjudged the hey, setting a bit. Is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Why are we There's someone inside? Why are we dropped off here? Uh, funny that it starts on water, kind of like Bioshock. Turkin, but only an hour left. In for a treat from physics and theories. Oh right, well I already uh I already got a taste for that. Hunting Freeman with the, uh, with that quote. So, um, let me know if, if my voice, um, is too loud or too low, or, uh, too low, guys. Pretty atmospheric already. This is not a, uh, crash play in the first one. Got a note on the door. I'm just gonna look around here. As always, I'll I'll take my time and look look around at things. Provisions. 
sound great. You sound great. Thanks. Thanks, Fashion Batman. Silver Eagle, a can of beans. That's health. I get space to take all. So, do I have a gun? I do have a gun, but I don't think I can equip it yet. <laughs> Some lobster traps. DeWitt, bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Of thy sins shall I wash thee. Should I wash? I imagine I'm pretty sweaty. I missed an eagle on the ground. Where is that? Hey, Mr. Tracer, what's up? I'm sure I'm gonna miss things, guys. It's part of the experience. Good luck with that, pal. By the barrels. <laughs> Oops. What? Oh, there's one. You're right. Oh, up to seven. That's weird. When I was hitting uh, shift, it seemed it exited to uh, the Steam menu for some reason. I got a uh, jar of pickles, so I don't really need that right now. Um, I guess you consume this stuff as soon as you pick it up, so I don't really need the health. I have an eye for money. <laughs> Is anyone here? Hello? Mash all the buttons. Cereal, silver eagle. Is there an inventory? Telephone. Other note. Be prepared. He's on his way. You must stop him. See. Who's C? Uh, condensed schedule to and from Columbia. Columbia. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Tracer, I played the first Bioshock. I don't think I ever finished it. I played it when it first came out, so I don't remember. Give me all the pickles. Uh, but I didn't play the second one. No inventory. Only one other Bioshock. Uh, I guess the second one wasn't as good. So we've got um, some kind of path. Hmm, I wonder who C is. C's the telephone. Doesn't appear to be working. Okay. Something underneath the pickup wallet. Nice. System Shock, right, because System Shock was kind of like the predecessor to Bioshock. I didn't play any of the, the System Shock games. Um, I think they just remastered the first one though, right? And the faucet's on. Columbia disinfectant. I think I have a, I think the Columbia is the city. Yeah. Drink coffee plus salt. Guys, I just I just increased my salt amount. It was Rational's first game. Hey, seek and destroy, what's up man? Oh. That's not a good sign. Some bullet holes or something maybe. Shit. Don't disappoint us. That's not a good sign. Ooh. Chisel. Ow. Just take his money first. Pretty nasty. Can I not duck? Uh, 
Oh, I gotta go play System Shock. Salt. <laughs> I live in a lighthouse any day. I don't know, it's pretty lonely, man. And uh, after seeing this, do you, do you really want to live in a lighthouse? Let me just check something. I changed the controls. Sorry for breaking the immersion here, guys. Just want to make sure that that change stuck. Yep. I guess it's just not letting me crouch. In New Eden soil shall I plant thee. So a lot of biblical quotes. More provisions. Why do they keep giving me health? Um, doesn't appear as though there's any enemies. Lighthouses are simple and serene. It's a good point. I mean, what? I'm sure this is very symbolic, right? Why are we starting at a lighthouse? Use bells. Ah, uh, there was um, there was a hint in that box, right? For how we're supposed to ring the bells. Anyone remember it? I think it was two scrolls. Too big and flash for me. Like a castle dungeon. Am I right? I know it was two bell. Or two uh, scroll. Wait a minute, that card. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> That's totally wrong. Some kind of signals being sent back and forth. Is it from the city? Jeez. Cool. That was awesome. See, this game's up. Uh, Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. That's not something I really want to do, guys. <laughs> it's good, Seek. Um, yeah, this game is uh, it's a few years old now, so it's, I'm interested to see how it uh, how well it, it holds up compared to like uh, Soma or some of the the newer like atmospheric games. All right. The seat. Yeah, seriously. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. Yeah, this can't be good. No kidding, Booker. No, no. Oh no. Damn it. Sanction. Sanction in the count of five. Sanction. Count of four. Oh, no, no. Three, two, one. Attention. Attention. Oh, we're like taking off. Oh, we must be taking off into the sky. Ten thousand feet. Fifteen thousand feet. Hallelujah. Wow. Very pretty. No, I've never played this before. Father Comstock, our prophet. This is more story. Okay, the old one was more atmosphere. Why would he send his savior unto us? Uh, okay, so if we will not raise a finger for our own salvation, and though we deserve not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. 
last chance for redemption. Keep in mind, this is basically the 1940s. Prophet shall lead the new, uh, the people to the new Eden. Cool. Noxus for the win. Hey, what's up, man? Sorry, I missed you when you first came in. Yeah, 1912 was what we were told at the beginning. Yeah, the game is really pretty. I hope it's coming through on the stream, okay. Find a way into the city. Wow. Or send to help navigate to your current objective. Try to avoid using that. Could really just spend a bunch of time soaking in this this area. Pick up some money. The word of the prophet. Sword in the hands of these angels. Jebus. <laughs> Wow. What does it say? The seed of the prophet. <laughs> seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Ha! That sounds foreboding. Yeah, yeah. The welcome center. So, did that ascension signify our death, I wonder? Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Hmm. The Lamb, the future of our city. I'm sure that's such questions to myself unless I want to get made. Okay, so we're we've kind of infiltrated this city to do something. Rescue someone, I think. Oh, I Fuck it. Bad boy. Nothing. I think I'm gonna play this bad boy uh luckless style, guys. I'm pretty sure I can go down the stairs to find the exit. I'm just searching around. More into non-profit organizations. Oh God, seek. <laughs> oh God, it has begun. Belial, undead burglar wants to praise Satan. And in my womb shall grow the seed of the prophet. Wow. So many already, so many like iconic images, or not iconic, but like picture worthy images. Bad boy fail, I know, I failed. Confessions. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna steal everything I can in this game. Can I not read this? So this is an important figure in this religion. It's like I got Voxaphone. Like your most recently acquired Voxaphone. Oh, those are like they're like audio logs. You can view transcripts of Voxaphones from the gameplay menu. Okay. Various pictures of Lincoln in this. I was gonna say this feels more like American Revolution times than 1914. Ooh. I'll take that. Ha! 
<laughs> Ethereal, you and I, seek and destroy, you and I, we could be friends. I like your sense of humor. Okay, let's play that audio, audio file. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Wow, okay. You know, in, in a time period where uh, games tend to shy away from religion, it's, it's interesting to see this kind of tackled so head-on. It's at least 600 AD. Enter sacred temple, steals donation, wrecks kids present, tramples flowers and candles all the time going. This place is really pretty. <laughs> Gladium, some kind of sacred sword. Clavim. Uh, so we see the key again. I imagine the scroll. Volume. One. And every year on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Compson. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the Sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it uh. would have been enough. If the prophet had just... Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia? Sodom below. Before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. <laughs> Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Mm -hmm. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm just looking to pass through. Reach out, brother. Praise be to the founders. They all look the same. Reach out, brother. Take his hand. Is it just me? Reach out, That's so creepy. Oh man. I don't want to do this. Come and be cleansed. Hallelujah. Oh guys. Come let us cast the trickster off from you. Praise be the prophet. Praise the Lord. Because I have no Come, choice. Let us wash the sodom from your soul. Swim time. Can I just go by him? Looks like I'm going to need to get past that preacher. Fuck. I really don't want to have to do this. I'd just like to leave. Someone new, first words in Rapture and Bioshock. Swim time. Here we go, guys. I guess I have to accept the baptism. Hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Oh great, he killed us. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Oh, it's a flashback. And wipe away the jet. What do you want? We have a deal to it. Open this door. It's like um gambling debt. Told you. Not going to do it. Go away. Mr. Dewitt. Pick up the gun. Uh, so he was in the army? Cavalry? 7th Cavalry? Like to drink? Thought we are good at keeping the place clean. I, I really wish it didn't force you into making these decisions. Uh, or force you into non-decision. Oh, fuck. Holy shit!
because our pride cannot be so. That idiot Drown. to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. There's three landmarks right here. Father Jefferson. He's got the scroll, the sword, Father Washington. Father Franklin is the key. Huh. Wow. And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders and our prophet, Father Comstock. And recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father Comstock. Father Comstock. So Father Comstock. That Is that the guy we met? Amen. So he killed us, right? Am I wrong? I feel like he killed us. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. This looks like the end of the tunnel that we were just in. That wasn't Father Comstock. Our Look prophet up. fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. Jeez. What do you have to say? Nice facial hair. What is Columbia if not another arc for another time? Betrayed as U.S. Yes, presidents betrayed as Greek gods. Delaware, with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt, so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. Jeez. So they've turned um, the Founding Fathers into, like, gods. <laughs> what is Columbia, if not another arc for another time? So, it's interesting, because it, it's not too far from the truth in America. This is... Um, it's going to be fun for you guys to watch this because I'm coming at this from a Canadian perspective so I can talk shit about America. I declare all the locks are in Jesus. Yes. A rebel against ignorance and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. By the sword, and, and the, the scroll, scroll, and, and the, the key. key. Amen. You discern the transmundane. Your inspiration and imagination transcend mere science and open our eyes to the mystery. Father Franklin, hear my prayer. Huh. Well, just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. So got a girl to find. So we got this quote again: "The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man." That's like kind of the opposite of what prophets supposed to do. Although the mountains could be a bad thing. I don't. I don't know. The mountains could mean the struggle. Wow, that's beautiful, isn't it, guys? You guys find the music's too loud? Like a ruffian? Fine for me? Okay. Yeah. It's damned inconvenient when buildings don't dock on time. Yesterday I had to take a gondola, rubbing elbows with all sorts. Hey, hey Byron, what's up? Yeah, this is that this looks exactly like America. Morning. Good to see you. Two dollar hot dogs. One dollar popcorn! One dollar ice cold lemonade! Oh, I'm in heaven! Give me that. Oh, I am low on health. Give me that hot dog. He doesn't seem to care. Alright. 
perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. <coughs> Excuse me. All of Columbia celebrates. So there's some kind of um, big celebration going on, obviously. Statue. I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute. Oh, there he is. You know, divinity. Wow. Oh, cool! A little hummingbird. I love the little the little touches. It does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference. Only duty. No room for preference, only duty. So we've got this idea. All right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? So there's not much room for free will here. Sounds like twitching and driving. Daily docking schedule: 8 a.m., 12 p.m., departure times. Some kind of ferry. Fur dresses, Hudson suits, cloaks. Best for 50 years. Hudson Bay. Preparing fine custom work, a specialty. Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired. That, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man. Don't tell me about details. Just get it done. Mm-hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. Hmm. Bargains every day at Hudson's. You want to talk? No. The Word of the Prophet presents Father Comstock's Gift of Prophecy, a Columbia Kinetoscope Company production. Pink F, uh, MFG. Let's try it out. <laughs> 